I'm Gina Bianca. I have my beautiful model, Rachel, here, and we are gonna share with you some fun facts about tape-in extensions and how to have the perfect consultation so you can bring tape-in extensions to your salon and make a lot of money and have a ton of fun transforming your guests. First thing I want to talk about is who's a good candidate for extensions. My beautiful guest here has wonderful hair. It's a little bit on the finer side, but what makes her a perfect candidate for extensions is that her shortest layer, which would be up here at the high occipital, her shortest layer does reach the nape of her neck. Next, the number one question I always get is how much hair do I need? The big thing to think about here is to add length, you have to add volume. In order to be able to properly blend extensions, if we're gonna have super long hair, we wanna make sure that we can go in and blend them in so they match and so they look absolutely beautiful. If your guest is concerned about not buying enough hair or they don't want to invest in the proper amount of hair, I would definitely stress to them for sure that they need to add enough hair and when in doubt, always order more packs than you think you need. Okay guys, so during your consultation, you always wanna be honest and upfront with your guest about the cost of the hair, cost of the service, and the total cost of the maintenance. You want to make sure you have all of this information up front for them so that they can feel comfortable getting extensions. When you're matching your guest, make sure you're always doing it in person to get the best blended result. I always like to take into consideration the color of their base and incorporate that into the extensions. You want to make sure it looks as natural as possible. Hold the swatch ring up to the root, mids, and ends to create the perfect blend. I also recommend adding dimension with extension so that it always blends and looks perfect. For this specific look, we decided to go with the Donabella Tapin's 18 inch number 12 and number 12 600. I have three packs of each to give her a highlighted and low lighted dimensional look. When it comes to installing the extensions, there's a few things that you wanna keep in mind. You want to make sure there's a reserve around the hairline so that you can always hide the extensions when they wear their hair up. Keep in mind that you never want to place extensions on a vertical or a diagonal as it applies too much tension, which is unnecessary. Always place them horizontally. Always remember to use a comfort-based application. What this means is that there's enough space between the scalp and the bond to create a comfort base application. After you place your first extension down, skim excess hair from the bond to ensure that your sections are clean. This will avoid snagging in the future. Your extension should be able to lift all the way up and that means you have placed it at a comfort base application. After you've secured your extension, press down and ensure that the bond lays completely flat to the head. There should be no elevation or popping out of the extensions. They should be laying perfectly flat and should be able to be lifted all the way up to guarantee comfort. Now that you've learned the basics, watch our next video to learn how to extend and blend using Donald Scott NYC carving tools.